closed end funds are great instruments, especially for investors who are looking for yield. Um, but they are a bit more complicated. There are a number of considerations that one needs to take into consider uh, to, to think about. Um, liquidity is one of them, and uh, it is very important because closed end funds are not very liquid. Um, in fact, they are. I would say the liquidity of closed end funds resembles or sometimes is even worse than that of micro cap stock. Um, something I did recently, a, a comparison uh, that was very interesting and insightful, is compared the liquidity of closed end funds with that of other um, yield focused instruments, such as BDCs or business development companies, uh, mortgage REITs, um, REITs, and MLPs. And uh, it turned out that the closed end funds were much, much less liquid than all of those instruments. And, and the way I did it is I looked at <clears throat> the largest exchange traded fund or, or note for each of those universes, picked the lar largest five components and averaged their liquidity. And by liquidity, what I used to measure liquidity was the three month average daily dollar volume. It clearly explains why the premium discounts move around so much, especially when the markets are um, more volatile and uh, moving up and down. Um, it, it explains a little bit of selling pressure or a little bit of buying pressure will move a discount into a premium or a premium into a discount or widening of a discount. So one has to take that into consideration and makes closed end funds more volatile. And number two, when trading closed end funds, uh, one definitely needs to be very careful or be aware of the, the volume, at least the average volume uh, that there is, so that you can calibrate the amount that you're thinking of, of buying uh, or selling a closed end fund to that. You don't want to be much more than 10% of the average daily volume. So that, that's just a rule of thumb that seems to work. Uh, and, I'm not, and I'm talking about the entire closed end fund position, uh, not just the, the trade. Uh, you always want to think about the exit strategy. Um, hopefully you, you want to be nimble enough so that if you need, do need to get out, you can get out easily without affecting the price. A, a few suggestions to be a smarter trader of closed end funds or not necessarily trader, closed end funds are more for uh, longer term holdings, but when you want to purchase, uh, make a position in a closed end fund. So, Use limit orders uh, much better than market orders. Uh, be aware of the, the volume, the average daily volume of the fund, and try not to be more than 10% of the uh, average daily dollar volume. For more information and data on closed-end funds, visit our sponsor, cefconnect.com, the authority on closed-end funds. This is Closed-End Fund News. Thanks for watching.